During the summer of 2006, when the Israeli occupation declared war on Lebanon, almost 900,000 Lebanese citizens left the country, leaving thousands of homes destroyed, farmland burned, and hopes crushed. Not being present to support family and friends shaped a burden on the shoulders of the Lebanese diaspora whose shoulders became something to lean on in one of the worst times for the land that we call home. Financial remittance, protests and solidarity, and social attachment provided a feeling of not just relief, but a feeling of a satisfied conscience that they're doing the least that they can do, even by just spreading awareness. The following are testimonies of people who left Lebanon during the war, but kept their hearts home. Just like Mona, this young woman who was in Australia at the time. I remember as I was watching television and seeing the bombs being dropped, um, I, I thought to myself, I had to do something. Imagine uh, I was a 10 year old at the time. Um, I went to the study room. I printed out like a hundred flyers of uh, brands that you should boycott, brands that support Israel. And I guess that was my earliest go at activism. And contrary to what many people would think, uh, one year later, we moved back to Lebanon. Locals in other countries witnessed mass demonstrations for those who didn't know the true facts of the war or didn't even know of the war at all. We're now well aware with eyes wide open. Brothers and sisters by blood or by heart were living opposite lives. One lived in peace and one lived not knowing if a bombshell was right over their head. One lived in a realm of memory and a sense of belonging and one lived in a war-torn prison with a loss of identity. Just like Abdul Rahman, this young man who expressed his experience through a video from the UK. I was living in the UK, um, and those days were really filled with mixed emotions that words, I can only begin to put them into words. It was very, very difficult just watching the scenes of destruction, hearing about the hardships of my fellow Lebanese people. It, it was heartbreaking and... I really felt this overwhelming sense of helplessness, really wishing I was there for, for my family, even at a young age, just like provide some support, uh, provide some comfort if I could. In homeland politics, the diaspora is the unsung hero of resurrecting a country in crisis, even at times when the country's own infrastructure can't hold it up. Social attachment is not to be excluded here either, for the contribution it provided to the shattered national spirit resuscitated the very heartbeat that founded home, transcending borders and oceans separating host from home. Just like Megan, who expressed her thoughts from the US. I, f I remember feeling very scared, almost guilty, like it was unfair that I wasn't there going through what the people I loved were going through. I remember um, hating the feeling of not knowing what I was going to come home to. If we were going to come back home, we even started going to a new school, thinking that this war was going to be longer. Um, it was just really scary not knowing. Um, we couldn't really call people unless we had an international phone card, which only lasted 28 minutes on the line. So it was just all we had was the news and it was never accurate and um it was just really heartbreaking besides those who fought on the front lines there were heroes who stayed in the country just like rita mother of two who opened her home for five families around 40 people solely consisting of mothers and children <laughs> بهالمرحلة كنت عندي الخيار إنه أطلع برات لبنان جوزي كان برات لبنان بس نقيت الخيار إنه لا أبقى ما أقدر ما قدرت أترك عائلتي أهلي العالم اللي بعرفهم بلبنان كان جزء من التضحية إنه كون معهم قدم الأمان والاستقرار قدر المستطاع كون جزء من هالمقاومين اللي قدموا مع انه نحن ما قدمنا شيء قدامهم. After the war was over in August, thousands came back home, many of whom returned to rebuild their homes, and many of whom flew in to be held in the arms of an injured country refusing to be crumbled. 
after the war, obviously, I, my, my love for, for the country grew even stronger, and I hoped for the day that I could return to contribute to its healing and, and to its growth. Uh, <laughs> كان الأشياء اللي مقطوعة كان الحمد لله قدرت وقفت كان في خوف بس رغم هالخوف قوينا الخوف قوينا وخلينا بس نشوف هالشباب والعالم واللي عم بيصير حسينا نحنا انه ما في شي بقى بيوقف بطريقنا هيدا عطانا زيادة الإيمان والقوة لحتى لي نتخطى كل شيء عم بيصير ونقدر نأمن ونكون حد العالم اللي كانت بحاجة لنوقف حدها